the more I'm sitting with the story, the more I feel like we have so much to glean for ourselves today. Doesn't it feel like our world is exactly like that? There are many people who have grown up with maybe Christian values or church values who are doing what is right in their own eyes. We recognize a world where do what you feel is totally acceptable. We hear horrific things in the news about shootings, child, children being harmed, people just being angry for everything. The fact that when I go over to the hospital, they need to put a sign saying, if you swear at us, we choose to not serve you because that common decency isn't common anymore. I feel like we can relate to Ruth's story. In the time of judges, everybody did what was right in their own eyes. So how do we live when nobody else is doing it? I think we follow the example of Boaz. Boaz, the redeemer in the story, he's the one who points people to God. The first time we encounter Boaz, when he speaks, it's chapter four, and he says, the Lord be with you. The first word somebody says in scripture tells a lot about who their character is. And at the center of Boaz is this blessing, the Lord be with you. Is the Lord on your lips? In a world that is doing what is right in their own eyes, a noble man or a noble woman keeps God's name on their lips. They follow God's way and then finds a way to go above and beyond by blessing others. You are called to be a blessing. What does that look like? Not just saying, hi, how are you to your neighbor, but finding those ways that you can support and care. We are called to be the people of love, to put love into action, to support our brothers and sisters in faith, to help redeem the world. And by that, we become more like Jesus. By the little things, we become more like Jesus.